From what I've heard, it's pretty well established that if the Gophers win and beat the Badgers, Minnesota sports luck will run dry when the Vikings take a run at the Packers. But luck was on Minnesota's side this weekend. <sighs> tough, tough to deal at home here. Anyway, sorry, man. Adrian Broadus has the breakdown with Schwartzy. So let's just start and enjoy this moment, right? <laughs> yeah, because it's going to pass. Some didn't think it would happen last night. But it did. And for Minnesota sports fans, it feels pretty good. The Vikings, Gophers, Timberwolves, and Gophers women's volleyball won big this weekend. Let's start with the Vikes. I just think that Minnesota sports fans in general are always just kind of waiting for it to go bad. I was waiting last night. <laughs> Talking to the guys last night, a lot of them did the whole, man, it was really good to get that one. I mean, they were legitimately sweating losing another primetime game, especially to the Packers. They needed this win to kind of keep pace in their division. So I think a lot of them were really relieved. Kirk Cousins is one of them to finally uh, at least get the monkey off his back for a little while. And he stepped up. He was the quarterback that everyone wanted and needed mm -hmm. him to be. They outplayed Aaron Rodgers. Regardless of what Kirk Cousins does the rest of his career, he can always say on one given night, he absolutely outplayed Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers had a lot on his mind. Mm -hmm. He's got the feud with his brother going on right now. The person in me says, of course, there's no way to not think about that. There's always a common theme that comes up, which is the sport and the field or court or ice is a refuge. That it's that hour, that hour and a half, that three hours, whatever it is, where the rest of the world doesn't matter and you just go out and play. Kirk Cousins is the guy for this team, and I think last night he finally started to show it. That's a Spartan for you. Yeah, there you go, see? Michigan State, you guys always come through, always. Three touchdowns last night, 340 plus yards, coming off the game against the Bears, against the Saints where he had made mistakes, turnovers, he doesn't turn it over at all last night. That was the game that everybody had been waiting and wanting Kirk Cousins to give them. And he finally gives it to them. Finally is the theme this week in sports with Schwartz. The Gophers. Yes. Who brought home the X. Finally. They didn't just beat Wisconsin. They dominated Wisconsin. If Gopher fans want to take something away from this, it's that this could be the start of an upswing in this program. And we can't leave the Wolves out. 2-0. They're playing better without Jimmy Butler, which is interesting, even though Jimmy Butler's going to winning games. Jimmy Butler's a great player, um, but they needed to get rid of him. Schwartz 101. We can't let the sports segment slide without recognizing one of the most incredible teams right now in the state of Minnesota, and that is the Gopher women's volleyball team. They are incredible. Look at the so, two seed in the You tournament. know I'm going to stick up for our ladies teams. And plus, link season tickets are on sale now. Yeah, and the Vikes, they got a rough road ahead of them, right? Because they got to play the Patriots and they got to play the Seahawks the next two games. So we'll see what they're made of. I think they got a lot of great players. Okay. Well, they got the receivers that the pack don't have. Let's talk about the Gopher women's volleyball team. I mean, if you want to start my engine, let's go. Gopher women's volleyball team? <sighs> no. I didn't watch them. I, I, I love it, though. It's good. If they got the two seed, let's go. All right. Here's some of your takes on Minnesota's winning weekend for the boys' sports teams. Please have, oh yeah, the Johnnies. Yeah, they beat the Pirates. That's pretty good. I like that.